Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Zebulon Thomas, and I'm here with my good friend. Milan. Yes. V. Milan V. <laughs> Just came in from Florida, which I'm really excited about. We're in Ohio, the beautiful state of Ohio. Um, we wanted to put this video together to, for you guys to just share kind of our collectiveness and ideas and concepts and uh, kind of just talk a little bit more about this energy that we share and what we want to teach you guys a little bit here on uh, lifemanagementtribe.com. We really, I want to gear that towards this platform, lifemanagementtribe.com. Can't say it enough. Good stuff. Yep. Uh, I love the fact that it's not controlled by algorithms. It's actually real organic um, connections with people. And I love the comments that I'm getting on my particular uh, profile. And yeah, we'll go from there. So Milan, um, what's new in your life? Well, we're here, me and my friend Pavle are here yeah. visiting you at this beautiful lake in uh, Hinkley, yeah. Ohio. Hinkley, Ohio, yeah. So uh, it's feeling good today. It's pretty warm for October <laughs> in Ohio. Yeah, it's, it's 80 degrees and we usually don't get that kind of weather here. It's actually interesting because we're leaving tomorrow for Miami. Yeah. And tomorrow the weather is going to, temperature is going to drop a lot. So that's <laughs> very, you know, interesting how that worked out for us. It is. And what, what I like about this park is you can literally set up shop like we're doing here and everyone's just doing their thing. And I love that. Like you have the birds, you have yes. the people, the dogs, the, the ducks and, and the serenity is yes. just... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nature in its truest form. So I come, I come to this park, guys, all the time to do my mantras, my meditations, uh, to really get my life back on, on track. Um, throughout the week, I come here a lot. And uh, when I get here, sometimes it's here for, you know, self-meditation, uh, aligning myself, or sometimes I'm here to, you know, to get to the next level in my business. And so I look out over this exact lake, whether, no matter if I'm on the other side of the lake looking this way or here, I look out over that and I just... I just think to myself how grateful I am. And I also think about all the things I want to manifest, all the value I want to add to my clients and to my personal life. And of course, also remember and be grateful for everything you already accomplished. Yes, that's the, true. Everything that happened, everything that brought us to this moment right here. Yeah, right? yeah, right. This beautiful moment. I yeah. know. And we, me and Milana, we've, we've known each other what about a year and a half now? A year and a half now, yeah. yeah. Seems like a longer time than that. <laughs> Seems like, a, yeah, much longer time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, we, when we meshed together, you know, you were helping me move back from Florida. I moved to Florida and then I said, I want to move back here. Uh, and you openly was like, I want to go with you. So what, what, was, what I, intrigued I, you to do I that? I just picked up, I vibed with you and I just, you know, kind of felt that the energy was good and I just didn't have a lot of, you know stuff going on in that time and i was like why shouldn't i help this guy yeah. that i just met two months ago yeah and it's this is the thing that i think a lot of people still have issues with in life they like to label people as friends and not friends oh i've known you for years now you're my friend no matter what kind of a relationship we have oh i haven't known you for a long time that can't make you my friend yeah that is a very interesting thing, you know? So that's why I never, I, I've really never had like that kind of an outlook on people. So you just I, like keep the door open. I always, my doors are always open and, and then comes down to the other person, how genuinely they're going to show me the respect or love or, or appreciation for yeah. the same I give to them. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the people that I want to reach here uh, that I've noticed mm -hmm. on my platform, talking about some of the things that hold them back. Like I've noticed in some of the comments, like they're like, you know, I like this view or this outlook. And a lot of those, those videos that I created for the Life Management Tribe platform um, was after our conversations, you know, like I would talk to me, Milan's my coach, you know, like I call him up coach and, and good friend, dear friend. Uh, and when I call you, I usually, you know, just get a profound insight that I, I'm not used to looking at. And so I would say, you know, contact Milan, contact me or find a good friend that you can bounce uh, energy, collectiveness, someone that's gonna really be truthful to you and not just a yes man, you know, like, you know, you never get better or improve your life if everyone's agreeing with you, you know? Uh, I want people to challenge, Milan challenges me. So what is the one thing that you can share, or I know there's more than one thing, but one thing that you can share to the viewers uh, watching this video that they, they could focus on for self, so they're not beating themselves up every day. Well, I would say that, I mean, really, really, really gratitude. Mm. Gratitude is one thing that I think this modern time, people, you know, live fast lives and everyone's too preoccupied to just sit with themselves, by themselves and just 
kind of feel, smell, see, hear all the things that they can be grateful for. Yeah. And of course, you know it. You're very good at it. <laughs> you need to have your goals in your focus. You need to be focused on your goals. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. Like, that's why I like affirmations. Affirmations, yeah. what they give me is uh, like a certain time of the day, you are focusing on your goals. Mm -hmm. You're focusing and feeling your goals as if you are already having them. Whereas you're, if you're working on them, you kind of do already have them. Yeah. So you set up just 15 minutes, half an hour each day, focus on your goals, feel them, feel grateful for already manifesting them. Yeah. And, and that's it. And that's just let them go. And then life is easy. You just enjoy vibe, sense, and just be open to new experiences mm -hmm. that, that just come with, you know, life. And yeah. That's how it is. It sounds simple, but that's really it. Yeah, I feel like when, when I come to the park here and I, and I, I start to get centered, I'm, I'm thinking about all the things that, I, that I've accomplished, all the things that I'm at in the present moment. And then I think about what do I need to do tomorrow or next week uh, to, to get myself in a position to where I'm really content and happy in my life. I think, th I think the biggest goal is we need to be more happy, more playful, and we need to laugh more. We're so stressed about reaching goals or, or, or hitting the quotas or trying to be like someone else. And I feel like make your own lane, make your own road and travel down that. And, and you need to tune out the world. It's very noisy. You know, it's very noisy. Social media is so noisy. It's not a bad thing. It's just, you have the to take the time. Use it. The yeah. way you use it is yeah. key. Yes, because think about someone who's using Instagram. Let's just say Instagram, for instance. Someone who's using Instagram to, to paint a perfect picture of their life that really isn't. You know, like, like this fake persona. Um, so they do that because they want to get likes or whatever. And then they feel very shallow and they're depressed in the behind that. Um, versus someone who is just out there and they're showing, like they're taking photos of nature and they're just kind of living their life. And they're like, oh, look at this beautiful tree or this bird. And they post it up and they get the likes. They get the same uh, fulfillment. It's just on the back end of that fulfillment, the person's actually satisfied versus someone who is, is, is not satisfied because they're trying to compete with other people versus just live your life, do what's best for you. Milan always told me uh, and continues to push on that is when I'm to be a, a videographer and to be successful in my profession, I don't need to focus on the clients or the opportunities or the jobs. I just need to focus on getting good at my skill and owning that power. Yes, and coming back to what you said about people posting fake images of themselves, mm -hmm. it, it can be explained in one very simple sentence. Their focus is on what others think about them rather yeah. than what they, what think, they think about, about themselves. themselves. That's huge. And, and basic psychology tells us that how we look at ourselves is how others look at us. Yeah. It really, everything in life is as simple as this. Yeah. Only we like to complicate it only, only due to a lack of understanding of what we are, what our nature is, and most of it because a lot of us still don't know what is that perfect occupation they want to do for the rest of their life. Even yeah. though this sounds a lot, you know, very magical doing one thing to the rest of your life. Life is about experimenting. Yeah. You try one thing, if it feels good, you do it while it feels good. Yeah. It doesn't feel good anymore, keep doing it if you're good at it. Yeah, and I you feel know? like I feel like the, the a lot of people that come to me they're and it, like they see what I do and they love it and they want to get into it. And I, and I always encourage them, get into this, do what you need to do. But the bottom line is you got to work. Nothing, nothing's easy. You got to work hard at it. And that might be a, a mental focus that's challenging or it might be a physical labor. That's or, the biggest barrier. Yeah, you got, success. but you got to want it. How bad do you want it? You got to want this to the point where like, as much as you want to breathe, take a breath of air. I, I heard that before and it's resonated so deep with me. And like, I get up early in the morning or I'm up late at night and I'm always thinking about improving my life in some way. And because of that, I yes, I'm always thriving, but I'm still arriving. And um, we're not perfect. I, dude, I get depressed, I get off track because with bigger, with bigger opportunity comes bigger risk, bigger challenges, bigger failure. But at the end of the day, as long as you hit that head on, 
and you're happy with the outcome. See, I can't, I don't want to work for anybody else. I want to work for myself yeah. because at the end of the day, it's myself that takes the responsibility for whether it worked or it didn't work. And then I say, I need a reposition to get back up and go at this again, or I need to change focus and go a different direction. And so many people hit the first no, the first failure, and then their life has changed and they stop when they need the, that's, the, that's just the beginning stage, man. Like you got to keep breaking through, right? That everything you just said is absolutely true, but it's only one side of the coin. I love it. See? That gives you vision. Yeah. That gives you the drive. And it gives you the feeling of, of worth, of actually working on something. Yeah, yeah. The other side of the coin is that no matter where you are right now, no matter what you're doing, yeah. no matter how disabled you are, or no matter mm -hmm. how others say you're disabled, mm -hmm. no matter what, if you're alive, if you're able to think, if you're able to hear you think, mm -hmm. you're alive and you're able to change if you want to change. Yeah, or take your life to that new level. Yes, and solely that deserves unlimited gratitude. Yes. Because people don't understand what gratitude does. Everyone keeps nagging about, oh, gratitude, this, gratitude, that. But what does it actually do? Yeah. That creates, if you practice, of course, not if you do it like today and you stop, you never do it again. You have to make a habit out of it. Yeah. You have to make it into a ritual. If you make it into a ritual that slowly, step by step, creates a certain mindset yeah. where no matter where you're at, even though you're focused on your goals, you're still happy because you know you're working on them. Yeah. And you know that on one hand, you're not perfect. That's on true. the other hand, you're always perfect because you're always part of everything. Yeah. Meaning that you're here, you're living your life to explore. Explore yourself. <laughs> Look for yourself. Yeah. You kind of work on what you think needs to be worked on and it feels good sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And then you adjust it, then you tweak it, then you play with it. It's like little kids. Yeah. It's like you, you, we are all, we all still have that little kid inside of us. You're supposed to play in life. You're supposed to fail. You're supposed to make mistakes. How I look at mistakes is every mistake is a step forward. It's like a building block. If you want to build your fortress of success, yeah. every single brick in that fortress is a mistake. Yeah. Every tower in it is like a success. That's yeah. how you can look at it if, if we want to mystify and label things. But I really... This, of course, is a latter stage in, you know, in, in like a spiritual journey is just getting rid of all of those labels that hurt us, that we put in between us and our goals and we pay more attention to the labels or the standards that we give to them instead of just focusing what we love doing. Yeah, it's true. You it's know, true. I and love this it. is just, you know, some insights into how I feel about it. This is again, yeah. just my outlook on it. And that's it. That's the beauty, beauty of life. I Everyone has their own view of how things should be done. I love it. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. And when we return, we're going to talk about Milan's way of starting his day, which I'm excited to ask him about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was gonna... At least one of them was shooting all Yeah, yeah. No, we we're good. There's no wrong one. way to do it. Yes, I'm absolutely. not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can right. do one from one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking to you guys today about the lifemanagementtribe.com platform. It's really exciting. I have a profile. Milan has a profile. Uh, it's exciting because it's really organic reach. Um, like we're able to see each other's posts. I mean, there's so much to it. The fact that it's not manipulated by algorithm is really exciting. And there's no big brands involved in it. Um, my good friend, Romney Malco, uh, put this platform together and I'm really grateful for that. When I first got into lifemanagementtribe.com, um, I jumped on it because I wanted to show some love and support to my friend. But then when I really got into it, I saw people commenting on my videos that I posted a year ago, but I just re brought life back into them. Uh, you know, I was just like, wow, this video I did a year ago, this person's, it's registering from them right now. And I realized there's something bigger here than the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, this platform to me uh, is, it really is something that we need it so bad. And I don't know why no other companies thought about it. But the fact that my friend did this and, and he put a lot of work into this with his team. But I'm thinking, I think the reason is because there's so many people trying to put their hands in the pot to make big, big gains, big value, big money uh, and, and sell sponsorships against that. Where Life Management Tribe is really just a platform for you to go on. And if you want to share something, awesome. If you want to 
talk about holistic approaches, uh, mental illnesses, you know, uh, physical fitness, how to better your life, how to change this, how to do this, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there's all positivity here. Uh, there's really no negativity here because it's not a platform for negative people. Um, and it's for the people who might be negative, but it's accepting. So again, I just want to plug that lifemanagementtribe.com. And, um, you know, I just feel really excited about it. I, I usually, I don't talk or plug anything that I'm really not excited about. Yeah. If Absolutely. this isn't, this isn't just the next thing. This is, this is something much bigger than it. And I, we don't even know what it is yet. Hmm. We just know that it's a lot of fun. And I wanted to do a video talking to Milan here to share it to you guys. And, and he's going to share it on his, cause that's the other beauty, the followers and friends that I have and the followers and friends that you have, um, we're sharing the same content, but we're funneling everybody together. I mean, like, look at the, the connections. We're going to connect with your friend here and, and you with other friends yep. that otherwise wouldn't cross paths ever. Um, but let's get into it. I want to ask you, you have energy all the time. When I first met Milan, I was like, whoa. You're like, that was it. That was all I could say. It was, whoa. Like, this dude was so lit. And you, you constantly lit like that. What is the secret behind all this energy from when you wake up to when you go to sleep? Because I'm asking that question because I have a lot of energy too, but my, my stuff is all over the place. How do you get it to where it's, it's so consistent? And, and let me say this, it's not, a, like if you're talking about salad, Milan doesn't just go, yeah, like I got the salad dressing on this, right? Let's just say that. Milan's like, I got the best salad dressing on my salad. Like your body speaks. It's not just like, yeah. It's, it's the daily habits. Everything is down to your habits. Everyone, I mean, you probably heard this a lot. It is what you do in your life on a regular basis that determines where you get. It's, it's my practices, man. I, I'm like this because of what, yeah. what I do every day. Yeah. And, and what you asked me is, uh, so every, every day I wake up, every day in the past, for the past two and a half years, I haven't skipped a single day it's a uh, affirmation slash contemplation slash meditation. Mm -hmm. I repeat, you know, of course I know it by heart already. It's uh, gratitude, gratitude for, I mean, probably you guys know that there's an infinite amount of things or people or characteristics you can be grateful for in your life. But uh, gratitude, so a lot of different things I'm grateful for. And that's what I repeat and also of course what I'm going for or what I still don't have as a physical manifestation or what I still don't perceive in my with my physical senses but as I already said before everything that you wish for you already have part of the spiritual mm -hmm. being that's the other side of the coin because so like up until these times, let's say up until the 20th century, we've been paying most of our attention, humans, to what happens in our, what concerns our physical being. Yet we know we have feelings and feelings are not mm, physical. That's huge right there. We have feelings, we have thoughts. What about that? Like think about it, everyone goes to the gym to work out. Some, some of these people are in there three, four times a day, four hours a day, you know, the ones who are so committed to their body, but they're so broken. Yes, but even it's, them, some, it's some expect. But even the people that are like that, that are doing that, let's say properly, yeah, yeah. know that it is the mental yeah. aspect. It is what the gym does to your mindset. Yeah, yeah. That, although, although I, I kind of take that statement back. What I said about people being so broken. But there's because, a lot. Uh, okay, to granted, a point, there is a lot of people like what you yeah, said. Yeah, yes. there are out there. But actually, you know, most of the people that I do run into the gym that are working out that hard, um, they might not be focused on their emotional body but they're actually not as depressed or stressed as most because when you just get your body moving, yes. that all goes away. Action, yeah, that's why I say like, really when in doubt, <clears throat> act in life. Because action, I, I have experienced this even before I started being more spiritual, more aware of how I think and feel, is that whenever I was stuck, I just, because you, you always know, you always, feel that there's something like when you were you know you go through life mm -hmm. and then you always even if you're stuck you get those hints those feelings that tell you you're supposed to do that yeah just act 
Yeah. And Intuition. then see, yes. And after you act, then see what happens. And, you know, so a couple things that I, I um, would touch base on is like, I would recommend it, but you know, if you ever want to, if you want, if you're not a depressed person, you want to know what it's like, sit on your couch for two weeks, <laughs> you know, just sit on your couch, watch, maybe watch some TV. I guarantee Netflix are going to get old in a day, two days, maybe three, if you're lucky. Uh, video games will get old after so long. Uh, but yeah, sit, uh, sit on the couch and you'll, you'll start to get depressed. You'll start to get down or you'll start to get sluggish. Uh, if you're a depressed person, get off the couch and two, do two weeks at the gym. Go every single day and just get on the treadmill and just walk it out or, or run or, or do st- some weightlifting because uh, you change your state. The, the bottom line is you could change your state in a minute in a second, like just getting up, moving your body, breathing different. Um, there's all these things saying affirmations or even just going back to our, our childhood, you know, uh, in our childhood and just thinking back on how we imagine things, so many things to make our life better. We, we lost that as adults and we need to sit there and play with our imagination and just imagine the possibilities of what we can create today in this world, in this life that we live. I, I just really want to just tell the, the viewers and everybody who hasn't jumped on lifemanagementtribe.com to jump on. And I know it sounds like I'm plugging the crap out of it because I'm so excited about it. And I just want to touch base on this. For those of you guys who are watching this, we're not going to actually plug our products. I have a book. You have an audio, audio book. We're not going to say what it is because I want you guys to find us on your own. I don't want us to tell you, go buy our books. Um, if you want extra insight, yes. But if you want to just consistently get some information from us, follow us at least on our Instagram or on lifemanagementtribe.com, uh, create your profile. And uh, we hope to just get more involved with you guys, help you guys create the best life that you've ever had. Um, yeah. Because this is the only life you have, so let's make it the best. Yes, I just look at that. Yeah, if you heard something yeah. that you think might be useful for you, you mm-hmm. know, check us out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's that's really much all it is. Everybody I fall into is because someone told me you got to check them out. It's never been because the person has sold me indirectly. Um, I just want to to go where I am feeling. So if you guys are feeling our energy and you're like yes. those look like yes. Milan, I'm like. You're my guy. Like I used to say, oh, I want to get to a level financially where I can have Tony Robbins as my personal coach, right? And I love Tony Robbins to death and he's awesome. Um, And the income has to be really a lot to get there. But I tell you what, you know what? I'm like, I don't need that. I got Milan. Like, and you guys, yes. And you guys have a friend, a brother, a sister. Like you just need to get up, get off your butt and start moving and taking action in the direction you want to go action is key yeah 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 man well thank you so much for your time thank you sir yeah yeah brother (laughs) real stuff yeah and thank you for our camera guy for coming here thank you sir. shout him out yes yes good stuff follow him uh we'll put all the links in the description below so you can check out his work he's amazing and he's right now he's he's just growing 2019 is going to be his year i know it it's going to be your man absolutely it's going to be awesome all right guys thanks so much yeah sweet that was good yeah, man. And I'm not worried too much if you, if you have to like look behind you and because you yeah, do yeah. bend a little right, bit. Let's go. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, all right. So do you want to? I'll bring us up? back in. I'll bring us in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're back. Uh, we changed locations on you guys because our cameras were getting hot and we figured let's let's get you guys on the move here because we want to move our bodies. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Milan, we were talking again about um, starting your day, and I was talking about if you want to be depressed, sit on your couch. If you want to change your state and not be depressed, go to the gym. Yeah, you were talking about you were talking about how you can change any instant. Yeah. That <clears throat> talking about that that takes effort. It takes a conscious effort. Mm-hmm. But what we want for our lives and ourselves is to get to that point where we want to thrive and prosper and act unconsciously to come to us we need to turn that into a daily habit that's true turning that into daily habit is con- consists of every day putting in a conscious effort every day yeah i love it that's how it works I it's love it. really breaking it down to like the simplest facts it's true it's yeah. true. yep one second so because i know you're i want i want to be conscious of you because i know um i see them on instagram and i want to buy the shoe because they, they say it's like a cloud and they have waterproof shoe and they look so good and I'm willing to drop the 200 bucks on them. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna try them out first, make sure yeah. that, because yeah. I've tried a lot of expensive shoes on and they just don't, like the basketball shoe, that's good for basketball, but no one knows the different terrains, like me and my feet. <laughs> like you can go, look at, we're on a cement yes. path, we were on roots, yes. and then we're gonna be on a slick floor, like if I was filming at a client's restaurant. Yeah. Right. I need a super diverse shoe. Yeah. So okay. Nike. Send me a shoe or something. Adidas. Who do you, what do you got? <laughs> Under Armour. That's what I'm rocking now. I need some Under Armour shoes. <laughs>
Uh, that's the other thing is I was are you re you rolling right here? Yeah. All right, cool. So here's the thing: if you if you're a brand, whether you're new or old, you're a brand. It's like Nike who's been in business for years, or Adidas, right? You gotta start thinking out of the box. And I know you, a lot of the big brands already do this, but they need to start doing it more. Like finding YouTubers, or finding people who are out there hustling and bustling like we are, uh, and and getting the grind in in, in this in the market. Yeah, put your, put your shoes on them. They'll market for you perfectly. <laughs>